Uh, with the recent crisis of Ireland affairs, the amendments towards NBFCs were on cards. The finance minister has, apart from offering various allocations towards NBFCs like providing one-time guarantee of 10% to the public sector banks to purchase the uh, credits of NBFCs and also doing away with the requirement of DRR for uh, NBFCs, tax amendments have been proposed to put the NBFCs in line with public sector and scheduled banks. Uh, these amendments, though, are currently proposed to be applied to only deposit taking NBFCs and systematically important NBFCs. However, we could see uh, a further amendment towards applying these amendments also to the other NBFCs so that these NBFCs are also at par with the other public sector banks and scheduled banks. Uh, on the IFSC front, so galvanizing the gift city concept that was set up by the government few years back, the government has again offered a lot of incentives for non-residents investing funds in IFSCs, uh, dividend tax, uh, tax on uh, income from mutual funds has been done away with along with a new uh, sunset clause which was earlier only 50%, now the same has been amended to be to 100% for the IFSCs. Uh, these amendments obviously would go a long way in creating India or making India a financial center along with the other fan, uh, global financial centers of the world, namely like London, uh, Singapore or Luxembourg or even maybe Tokyo. And to also provide a low tax or a no tax uh, jurisdiction to the non-residents who see India as a good opportunity for investments.